the gate. Out the gate, we about to divulge into some ignorance. Look, I'm going to expose myself. And you're going to expose yourself too. It's going to show me what type of nigga you are. Are you a mover or a shaker? Are you a quitter or are you a faker? I'm about to find out right now. Welcome to the Weed Man Chronicles. It's been a minute, man. I want to give a shout out to the trolls. Every time I come live and I be driving, you be there talking that. And I be just letting you go. Let you go. Go, Johnny, go. I start talking about your mama, throw, you know, throw a fuel to the damn fire, nigga, jet fuel to the fire, right? But you know what? I got love for y'all. Paying attention to my crazy self. Let's get it. I'm about to expose myself right now, right? It's the real nigga challenge, too. All, this, all in one. With a story time. That's all in three. First things first. If you... That perfect time. About to start a little puff puff giving this motherfucker. <laughs> you down? Fire it up. All right. Here we go. Look. Women be lying. They be lying, and I'm going to prove it with this story time, right? So strap on your chest straps. You're taking a drive. Just listen. I'm going to try my best to keep it uh, not too vulgar. Right? So you can enjoy this ignorance at its finest. At the same time, like I said before, I want you to get in that comment section, right? And get active because the real nig challenge is going to pop off all in one. Story time. Here we go, right? Women be lying, right? They be lying. They be lying, right? They be lying. They don't know what they want. <sighs> I got an invitation. Yeah, I got an invitation to a freak off. I had some wild neighbors. The, the neighbors was wild. The woman of the house, the wife, got me so much box on the side. I want to thank her. I want to thank her, right? Right? She wasn't a keeper. She was a sharer. And I, I really a, a, appreciate, man, her generosity. I was at the freak off. The older heads, these dudes had to pop a pill, right? They'll come in strong, knock holes down every fucking Friday for at least six years. The house was like Hugh Hefner's mansion on Friday. I, I was at a freak off, drinking. <sighs> Let me educate y'all. These broads came in four car loads deep, man. And it wasn't enough brothers to come through. So, you know, that's why I got the invitation, right? Cool. Let's see what's going down. I already knew what was going down because I, I was already smashing a wife, man. Get, get mad at me. Get mad at me. Get mad at me right now. Get mad at me. Get mad at me. Oh, nigga, you fuck that nigga wife, nigga. Look, the bitch used to be asshole naked in the motherfucking screen door, nigga, like... On some Grace Jones shit. On some Grace Jones shit. Hey, you want some of this? Boxy, boxy, boxy. Boxy, boxy, boxy. Again, like I said before, man, the wife was getting, man, she was, she, man, do you, look, I got me and my friend here, my other friend here, my other friend here. Nigga, nigga, shut up, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Yes, I did, nigga. I fucked the shit out the wife. <sighs> All right, listen to me. <laughs> right? 
they come through. Now, if you want to know what one of the broads look like, I want you to go to Snoop Dogg's Hustler Triple X, right? And look for the chick that has this big Pisces fish on the side of her leg. Now, I want to stop the show, and I really want to say rest in peace to her. And I'm really upset at you stud broads because you stud broads are the biggest simps. Instead of leaving... Instead of leaving and letting the woman do what she want the fuck to do, you wanted her to leave the earth. It upsets us men. When good coochie, right, gets sent to Valhalla and, and the raggedy coochie is still out here amongst us. hella cool i mean man she was that type of broad man that y'all could just you know that this turned into relationships y'all doing good smashing having good company man but you know you, you can't ha handcuff her because she she like everybody it ain't no problem with that ain't no, ain't no problem with that right fellas all you concerned about is when your turn when you can get scheduled in and shit nigga you ain't greedy you just like hey Hook me up two times a motherfucking month, and I'm cool with that. All right. I was at a freak off, yo. Them old niggas, they... They was at least two to three in each car, and it was about four to five cars. They had to send in the Army Reserve. And they sent us in this shit. The old head sat down and sat their ass down. They, they was, them niggas' heart about to bust out their chest, right? Now, these ladies had to be on that Billy Crystal. Had to be. Because they wanted more and more and more. And they sat down the reserves, us. The reserves, they sat us down on the fucking bitch to have pine time. The wife said the the, the look the wife said the freak off is 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 going is going to the left right now because all that we we're thuvo we're thuvo we're empty clips is empty right clips is empty we all of us need to be put back in the charger with the USB plug us in. Overnight. The wife said, fuck that. The wife went in there, took a strap on and stuff like that and said, if you niggas can't do it, I'm going to do it. She went in there and, and, and man munched and ate and fake dildo strap and all right. You know what I'm saying? But the broad still wanted more. They wanted more. They wanted more. The owner had to get him some too. It was like a family affair on Friday. But then there was the older son. Now keep in mind, uh, the owners, they was tall like Wilt Chamberlain. And I remember the son, something just strange about him. And again, it goes into what I was saying about women. They say they want something and they ain't what they really want. I'm just letting you know. Hey, with that bullshit. I wondered for years about bruh. Like, it was just something just strange about him. So the broads was like, they there was some party animals. They was like, hey, go get, go get him. Go get him. Get him in here, right? So he comes, he looks, he see all this naked ass jingling and coochie eating and the, the wife stroking her bra with the, with the dildo. The wife, wife working hard, she sweating her goddamn nappy hair out and shit. 
Because the team, nigga, we, we down. We down. We, we discombobulated. We don't have no ammunition. No ammunition. No ammunition. Look, look, hey. Niggas is putting their clothes on about ready to leave. That, that, that's what we done. We done, done. We done, done. I was at a freak off. Right? Listen to me. They strip him down. My homeboy said, hey, because they, they family. He said, hey, nigga, uh, we need to leave because it's going to be some Sodom and Gomorrah shit. Right? I'm thinking like, well, Sodom, what do you mean, right? He go in there, man, and and the Pisces broad, right? I can hear it because I, I know her, her sound of her voice and shit, right? Because, you know, we done had some private sessions, right? I hear her say, Bitch, this is the biggest motherfucking dick I ever seen in my life. And it made me think of something. Just, just, it, it just made me just. Because I only seen bro with one girlfriend. One girlfriend. He will always have the collection of porn. Now he was like. Now, see, I got this opportunity to tag, to tear your ass up for free on the family strip. They done paid for it already. They done paid. Look, it is like Korean barbecue right now. It's already paid for. Paid for, right? Them bitches. <sighs> Them bitches was trying him out, yo. I said, damn, this nigga ain't had a girlfriend since the motherfucking Nissan car days. The Nissan truck days. He ain't had a girlfriend since then, nigga. I've never heard women holler like that. The aftermath of that was a crime scene of shit and blood. And that told me right there, bitches is nasty as a motherfucker. That nigga was hurting them bitches. I'm going to keep it real with you. The wife was so nasty. After that moment, because she ain't never seen it, man, every time I see them together, I would think of that Atlantic Star shit, nigga. I think wifey said, fuck it, I got to try this dick out too. Secret lovers. That's where we are. Right? What I'm saying is women be talking about they be wanting that 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 type of pole, right? That nigga never had a girlfriend cause that nigga shit was too big. Ignorance at its finest, man. Now, I want you to put a one if you be to a freak off. I want you to put a two, right? If you got that invitation because your homie needed some help, two. And, and then I want you to put a three if you was an organizer, like, because I respect the threes. I respect the threes, right? You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna sit over here and play PlayStation all the time. We gonna get some box up in this motherfucker. The threes. All right? Story time, man. Story time. You know, I got plenty of stories, but that right there, man, that, I said, damn. You know, it's some serious fucking if you cleaning up blood and shit. 
Straight disgusted. I said, damn, man. I said, man, I tell you about these hoes, yo. The Wingman Chronicles. Salute to my wingman out there.